Hi everyone, I'm Chloe and I'm 25. And I'm Dan and I'm 26. And we've been together for nine years now. And we're from Brisbane, Australia. So in the past nine years, uh, we've been on a few trips together and we just keep sort of lining up more and more each time we finish one. Uh, we sort of see our friends getting married and buying houses and settling down, even having children. But all that's just not our scene. We probably could have paid off about half a house by now, but we just keep spending all our money on travel. And in our eyes, it's definitely worth it. We just love experiencing new things and going on adventures and heading overseas and just exploring the world. I guess we just get itchy feet and we like a change and we just want to go experience new things. So while we're traveling, we spend like 24 seven together for months at a time. And it's mostly good, but sometimes it, it's just not so good. And yeah, I remember one of our first big trips we took together, we went to America for three months. So we, we were just together for 24 seven for three straight months in a very small RV. Long road trips. Long road trips, big days. Very tired. <laughs> So basically we'd get on each other's nerves no matter what we did. Just the smallest thing. <laughs> what happens when you spend so much time with one person? Well, I think one of the one of the funniest stories, I can't even remember what we were fighting about, but we were on this really long road trip. Um, and Daniel was angry at me for some reason. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't probably, remember probably why. Nothing. Probably over nothing. <laughs> and I don't think he spoke to me for about an hour. For I remember it, it happened over like a couple of days sort of event. And then just one day I just decided to freak out. <laughs> I think he was just angry at me for a little, not angry, but just I was probably being annoying. And he just decided to freeze me out, <laughs> completely <laughs> stopped talking to me. And I kept being like, Daniel, are you angry at me? <laughs> and he just like completely ignored me. It was a very, very boring. Well, and that was like two days out of. 90. It's just what happens when you're like such close quarters for a long period of time. Yeah, most of the time we're fine. I would say we're, we travel really well together. Yeah, you just have to be considerate. Considerate <laughs> of your other half. Yes, and your own personal feelings. So I guess what's worked for us over the years is just simple little things we can do when we can tell that the other person's getting a mm. bit annoyed. So like you said, just be a bit considerate. So as soon as you can notice that the other person's getting a bit annoyed, just kind of back off and give them some space. Yeah, and if there's something the other person really wants to see, then just go see it and do whatever, because there'll be something that you really want to see that they don't want to see. Yeah, there's been so times where Daniel's been like wanting to see something and I'm not fussed, but anyway, we just go and then yeah. in return. You do it again. Exactly, like yeah. I remember there was one time we were in America, same road trip. We ended up at Yellowstone National Park and we ended up sitting on top of our RV for about three hours just watching the bison. Yeah. And Daddy really wanted to do it. So I was bored as after about the first hour. I think I was playing Candy Crush, <laughs> but it's just what you do. And another thing we do is just if, if you've got something on, on your chest, just bring it up and talk about it there and then. Get it sorted and everyone will feel better. Yeah, sometimes we'll just have deep DNMs like in the car park or something. I think we just generally get along really well because we're just kind of on the same level. We just both just to do silly stuff when we're traveling, just have a bit of a laugh. Just a little bit of light humor, getting around. <laughs> light humor. <laughs> but we do really love traveling together and we wouldn't have it any other way. No, definitely not. Once you find your travel buddy, hold on to them and don't let them go. But just play nice and get along.